Now Varun Dhawan was one such actor who had a blast in 2017 with two successful movies um like Judwa and Badrinath ki Dulhaniya both complete commercial entertainers that enjoyed like great success at the box office so varun dhawan is not now going to be coming in a all new avatar with his film called october now october is not going to come out in october it's going to actually come out in april this is sujith sarkar's uh, directorial venture and it looks pretty interesting because um uh, some of the you know on the set images and behind the scenes shots came out and uh, needless to say i thought varun dhawan's uh, look in the movie and the entire setup was kind of very interesting varun dhawan will be stepping in a zone which he hasn't explored in the past and that's always interesting because when an actor moves out of his comfort zone or from a genre that he's pretty much familiar with and experiments with something new like he did with badlapur it always uh, ends up to something really good sujit sarkar has uh, made some really interesting movies in the past uh, piku being one of my favorites and you know there's some mysterious vibes around this movie somehow so i'm sure varun will create something really good in this movie one of the most exciting destination weddings no i'm not talking about my wedding nor am i talking about any other bollywood actors wedding i am talking about sonam kapoor and kareena kapoor star veeri the wedding now this film has been in the news ever since the film was launched because um the title was interesting the cast looks so so cool i mean come on two of the most gorgeous and amazingly fashionable uh, actors coming together along with of course swara bhaskar who is so 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 talented so it's going to be like the perfect film to watch with your friends uh, in between the summer holiday or vacation sonam kapoor has already been sharing a lot of pictures and so is riya kapoor who's producing the film the first look was pretty interesting with uh, all these women getting ready for the destination wedding and looking oh so pretty so that is one movie that i'm looking forward to watching solely because a it's got kareena kapoor b i think the plot is really very interesting and see because i mean hell why not it's a all girls movie why not go for it Now Akshay Kumar is known to create magic like three or four times a year with some really interesting films and this year he has also got 2.0 coming up but right now I'm not talking about 2.0 I am talking about is another anticipated film called Gold now this is going to be based on India's first ever Olympic gold medal the story is related to all that went behind uh, the first ever gold medal at the Olympics that India got um and uh, Moni Roy will be making her debut opposite Akshay Kumar in this movie now recently the entire cast and crew posted a picture where um they announced that the film is wrapped so it's currently in post production and if all goes well the film as per schedule will release on August 15th i really like the first look of Akshay Kumar in this movie very vintage and cool so um and this this is also something a uh, very interesting because history is something that always fascinates me and uh, when it's something more different and not like the typical history that we are known for like you know raja maharaja and all that and something like this related to probably sports like i really loved bhag milka bhag and when you really get to know the story that uh, went behind the making of something so grand it's always very interesting so gold will come out on independence day and i think it's going to make for a very good family watch because it has got a holiday release so something to look forward to then there is of course shahid kapoor's next called batti gul meeta chalu now the title itself is so quirky and interesting ki bhai matlab kya ho raha hai of course this is around electricity we know like you know ki batti gul ho gayi but meter abhi bhi chalu hai because there have been several incidences where um electricity is not there there's no electricity available but the bills keep coming in and i think that's the premise is pretty much of the movie but there will be something more brewing up as well um from what we know i think the film is going to be based um around on north india and shahid will be playing obviously the lead role and this is his first movie with shri narayan singh who directed toilet ek prem katha last year now his presentation was pretty good and i thought he did a damn good job with toilet ek prem katha so i'm really looking forward to seeing how this equation comes together like shahid kapoor and uh, um shri narayan singh together also we get to see shahid in a light hearted movie in a really long time like i remember the last time i interviewed him even he was exhausted of doing three back to back heavy roles like there's a heather there's a urta punjab and then you've got padmavati or padmavada i think even he got ex- exhausted with all the tough and very hard uh, core movies that he did but obviously he also got a lot of compliments awards and honors for the first two movies and i'm sure he's going to 
get the same for Padmavati as well. This film is scheduled to release on August 31st. What we know is that they might start shooting for the film in February. So if all goes well, they should stick to the release date that they have right now. So Batti Gul Meter Chalu looks like a fun film that should be a must watch because it deals with reality. It deals with what we're seeing around us. So it should be interesting. Next up, we've got Gully Boy. Now, Gully Boy doesn't have a release date so far, but we've been seeing Ranveer Singh uh, prepping up for his role uh, and there have been a lot of script reading sessions and workshops etc that have been going around with Ranveer and Alia together. Now, Zoya Akhtar is coming back. Now, Zoya's Dil Dhadakne Do is one film I can watch any time of the day. It's so much fun. Uh, Zindagi Na Malegi Dubara was also another movie that I really liked, but Dil Dhadakne Do was so I think Gully Boy has a very interesting premises because it's based on the life of a real Gully Boy uh, who's pretty well known and he comes from the uh, streets of Mumbai so that's something that's quite relatable and a lot of artists might relate to this film and of course Ranveer is known to give his best to any character that he gets so I'm very sure he's gonna you know go full on and do a great job with this and um, also I think Zoya Akhtar's treatment will be something interesting for the film because she's been taking some time to ensure that both the actors prep up well and uh, she gets all the elements in place before they start shooting for the movie so Gully Boy looks interesting and I'm, I think one thing that I'm really looking forward to in this movie is the music because music is the real deal I mean come on it's about an artist so we need the music to be all going for it so Gali Boy, Ranveer Singh, Agya Bhatt, Zoya Akhtar, definitely looking forward to it. <laughs> we don't have a release date so far, but looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do leave a thumbs up. We'll be back with the third and final part of this video super duper soon. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to join the notification squad. Until next time, here's your dance be saying bye-bye.